finding your purpose is not hard at all. Are you willing to make the sacrifices? Oh my God, my thighs are sweating. Are you willing to break the rules? You can't force anybody to change. Deep down, you know you have a gift. I'm here for you. The most important gift that I can give anybody is just helping them simplify things that they're complicating in their life. You're watching Simplify Your Mind, simple daily solutions to get the confidence you need to go after what you want, and I'm Masavi Kumar. So when I was a kid, my dad always used to say to me, don't be somebody that has to be tolerated. And I'd never liked hearing that because it, I, I, it just felt like I had to be on my best behavior or something. Like it, it just felt like I had to be like on and just, just perfect all the time. But as I've gotten older, I've started to realize a few things. I've started to realize that you can be a person who goes with the flow, right? And you can also be a person who has very clear boundaries on what's okay and what's not. And then there's kind of the opposite or just kind of this extreme of human beings that I've encountered. People who are just really like, everything is an issue, right? Like people who just complain about everything. People who just are like, it has to be their way all the time. Like there's no fluidity. There's no sort of like, sure, no problem. Now I'm not telling you to sell your soul. I'm not even saying that you go against your values. That's not what I'm saying. But I have found that there are people who just want to complain and just be a pain in the ass for no reason, right? Simply because it's, it's, it's like entertaining for them almost, or, or they feel like conflict is normal, right? And while there is conflict and chaos in the world, right? Think about, is that the kind of life that you want to live? Do you want to be the kind of person that brings chaos to every situation and conflict to every situation? Or do you want to kind of be the person who, when you show up, your energy is one of, you know, that people want to be around you. Do you even want to be around you, right? There have been times where I've been so annoyed with myself just simply because of whatever was going on that I can't even stand myself. Now that's a problem, right? That's a problem when you don't even want to be around yourself. So now as I'm older, you know, and I think about what my dad said, don't be the type of person that needs to be tolerated. I want to ask you this. Are you the kind of person that people want to be around? Is your energy the type of energy that people are drawn to? Or are they like, oh my God, stay away because your attitude sucks so bad. And that's something that only you can answer. Now, mind you, there are certain people that bring out certain qualities in us when we're around them, right? So think about the people that you hang out with. Think about when do you show up your best? When are you the happiest? When are you the lightest? When are you the freest? And then are there people that you're around that just kind of bring you down and are just really dull? And when you're around them, you just feel naggy and just kind of annoying and like you can't even stand yourself, right? So two things may need to happen. You may need to kick that person to the curb. Like maybe they're just not good for you, right? maybe maybe the two of you together like the dynamic is just not healthy or you need to look at how you're showing up and, and ask yourself first of all why do I attract people like this into my life and why am I drawn to people like this in my life second of all if I want to continue being around this person but I don't want to feel this way how do I need to change right because you know this you can't change anyone other than yourself right? And really take stock, take inventory about your energy and how you show up. And do you complain for no good reason? Are you constantly just, you know, creating chaos? Because maybe that's what you grew up with, right? Maybe you're just addicted to the chaos. Maybe you're used to life being conflicting all the time and having there be arguments. Um, I know for me, that was my case for a very long time. Like I was used to conflict. I was used to chaos. And then after a while, when I started to change the way things were in my own life, I realized that peace was the way of life that I really wanted to move towards. And do I ever regress? Do I ever find myself being attracted to conflict because of old patterns and thinking? Yes, but I don't stay there very long, right? And that's really the key here is to be aware of it. You know, say what you want differently, take the action around it and notice if you ever go backwards. It's just about having that awareness and doing something differently about it and having that be consistent in your life. So if you know of someone in your life, friend, family, colleague, um, who could benefit from hearing this because maybe you want to send them a message about maybe they're addicted to conflict or chaos, and maybe you just want to be like, hint, hint, watch this video, share this with them. If, if you enjoyed this video and you want more, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you want access to my free video training on how to pick one idea and take action on it in less than 20 minutes, head on over to vasavikumar.com forward slash focused action. Thank you so much.